G'day YouTube, Maisie here. Just got back from a trip to town and I've picked up something. Let's have a look. Hey look, I've picked up an electric lawnmower. Got the idea from just in case. But yeah, so I'm going to be using this on the off-grid. So it's an off-grid lawnmower. So let's open the box up. We'll just have a bit of a look, I guess. It's 1400 watts. So cool. I won't have to get the old petrol mower out and then I have to wander down to the service station and get fuel and put it in the lawnmower and next time you go to use it, it's all evaporated and gone off. So cool, we can use some extra solar power to power the lawnmower. Alright, let's take it out of the box and see what we've got. Oh, you can get a off the grid electric whipper snipper as well. Mm. Bit far to go to get one. Mm. Keep opening it. All right, this is as we open the box. All right, I guess it's all there. All right, we'll take it out and see what it comes into pieces. That looks like the catcher. Let's put it on the ground. Got plenty of room down here. So there's the two bits that come obviously for the catcher. Oh, there's more bits. So let's have a look. So that's the lawn. As it comes in the box, from the big shopping place that sells them. Looks like a little bit of assembly is required. All right. It all comes all packaged. Gotta put the handle on it. See it's all wired up. Looks like those big knobs come off. Does it look like it goes any way round, Trev? Handle goes together like that, look at it. It's not normal to have power cords on lawn miles, is it? This one's a bit strange, it's got a power plug on it as well. Wonder what that's for. There we go. We finally got that damn. Oh, look, I'm zoomed in. We finally got that damn catcher together. It, it's really slippery to hang on to, and it's kind of a bit twisted around a little bit to get it together. But we managed to get it all together. All right. 
let's go and see what we're going to tackle with it. Hello, Galaxa. How are you? Meow. Alright, I haven't had a lawnmower in a few weeks because it died. But let's see if an electric lawnmower, what it does to my lawn that hasn't been mowed for a while. Right, we got all the lawnmower together. The cord and I'll better show everyone the cord where it comes from. Alright. If every, everyone else has watched my off-grid air conditioner video, we just plugged in there. Just run the cord out the door. So it's plugged into the inverter. Alright Trevor, so what I suggest, because everyone in the street reckons you're going to electrocute yourself. I wouldn't put it down too low. Because it's pretty high. Stick that over your shoulder. Everyone reckon, Everyone tells me Trevor's going to run over the power cord. Alright, fire up, right, let's see what it does. I showed you, you can press the button on the side too, Trev. Oh, what the fire's up. The only problem is a long cord. Watch him run over it. Nearly sounds like a petrol lawnmower. I think he's let go of the handle. Yeah. Might have a safety cut out, eh? No. You can't pull the handle down, you've got to press the button first. There's a trick to the lawnmower. So obviously it's to stop people running electrocuting themselves. Stole it. Like I said, the petrol one died a while ago. It's been a while to catch up with the electric lawnmower, so it's got kind of got away with us.
go YouTube, Trevor gave it all it got, the, gave it the whole 1400 watts, we managed to get that grass lawn mowed, it's a little bit wet in the middle from the washing machine water but it's still mowed through it and it still keep going. Alright, looks like this is going to be another addition to Maisie's off grid. Alright YouTube, bye for now.